students today i am going to talk on catabolism of purines the nucleotide monophosphates amp that is adenosine monophosphate imp inosine monophosphate guanosine monophosphate they are converted to the respective nucleosides by the action of nucleotidase first let's start with amp amp with enzyme nucleotidase help in removal of a phosphate and forms adenosine amp with the removal of amino group can also form imp with the enzyme amp deaminase this helps in removal of a ammonium ion imp similar to amp with the help of nucleotidase forms inosine here also there is a removal of phosphate so imp becomes inosine adenosine can also remove ammonia with the help of adenosine deaminase here it was amp deaminase here it is adenosine deaminase and a ammonium ion is released so adenosine will become inosine inosine then is converted to hypoxanthin with the help of enzyme purine nucleoside phosphorylase this enzyme helps in removing the ribose from inosine can you see the red marking hmm? this ribose is removed by the help of this enzyme in the form of ribose 1 phosphate and forms hypoxanthin hypoxanthin later forms xanthin with the help of xanthine oxidase xanthine oxidase this enzyme contains fad and iron and it is exclusively found in liver and small intestine now let's see about the gmp so similar like amp and imp gmp with the enzyme nucleotidase removes a phosphate molecule and forms guanosine guanosine similar to inosine the same enzyme purine nucleoside phosphorylase helps in removing of the ribose from guanosine and it removes in the form of ribose 1 phosphate it forms guanine guanine then undergoes deamination with the help of enzyme guanase see this amino group is removed and it forms xanthine okay xanthine then further with the enzyme xanthine oxidase is converted to uric acid if you see the structure of uric acid it is 2 6 8 oxypurin now if you see over here how this is formed in inosine it was on the sixth position it was oxy see there is a deaminase and so it becomes oxy on the sixth position then in xanthine it becomes 2,6 oxy and then further with the help of xanthine oxidase it forms 2,6,8 trioxy purine okay so that is how the uric acid is formed uh, one thing you have to see is if you see over here xanthine oxidase this reaction also produces hydrogen peroxide h2o2 h2o2 is actually harmful uh, to the tissues so catalase helps in cleaving h2o2 it cleaves into h2o and water okay so 
uric acid is the end product or you can say the final excretory product of purine catabolism. The normal value of uric acid that is serum uric acid level is in male, adult male, it is 3 to 7 milligram per deciliter while female it is slightly less, it is 2 to 5 milligram per deciliter. In the previous slide, I had shown you with the structures. This is the same flow chart but without the structures. So, you can write the flow charts without the structures. I had shown you the structure so that it would have been it it would be easier for you to understand each of each of these steps and that's why I showed you with the structures here you can uh, you can write the answers without these structures also I have added one more step over here this is xanthine monophosphate the nucleotide purine nucleotide again with the enzyme nucleotidase it forms xanthosin uh, and again with the same enzyme which was which used in the inosin and guanosin the purine nucleoside phosphorylase helps in the removal of ribose to form xanthin so xanthosin will form xanthin and again then with xanthosin oxidase it will form uric acid so you can add this one more step over here i didn't show you to you in the previous slide the reason was that if i had shown you even the xanthosin and uh, structure also it had to become complicated so i just omitted this step and i have shown it over here okay the total amount of nitrogen excreted as uric acid is very little as human beings are ureotelic that means major amount of nitrogen is excreted in the form of urea in human while in birds and reptiles it is uricotelic they are uricotelic that means they excrete in the form of uric acid while lower prime excrete the nitrogen in the form of allantoin allantoin is formed by the enzyme uricase uric acid to allantoin marine invertebrates are aminotelic they excrete in the form of ammonia okay so that was about the catabolism of purines now there is a link below this video which has the descriptive answer of this and i i'll be uh, talking about gout and hyperuricemia hyper and hypouricemia in my next video so please watch my next video to see the disorders of purine catabolism okay so do like my channel and subscribe it okay so that you get updates of my videos thank you